On October 1st, 500 volunteers gathered in Princeton for the kickoff meeting of the total solicitation phase of the great $53 million campaign. Promptly at 11.30, Chairman James F. Oates, Jr., class of 1921, called the meeting to order and explained the purpose. In this beloved spot where history has been repeatedly made, we today are engaged together in another great historical event. Far transcending the people in this tent, far transcending even Princeton itself. Because this cause we serve is a cause of great importance to all Americans and throughout the free world. We can, on this symbolic kickoff meeting, visualize the meetings that will be held across this land as we dedicate ourselves to the big effort that remains. He described the leadership from coast to coast. It is our privilege to hear from one of Princeton's most illustrious sons, the Honorable Harold R. Medina of the class of 1949. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, Dr. Goheen, fellow Princetonians. The judge spoke of the modern university as the central instrument and crowning achievement of democracy and called for the fullest effort from all alumni. Each and every one of us here today and the multitude of others beyond the sound of my voice are part of the Princeton tradition, part of Princeton herself members of the Princeton family. It is meet and proper that we should think of the generations of Princeton men whose service and support have made Princeton what she was for us, and of the generations of those who will be here tomorrow and beyond. In the foresight and careful planning of President Goheen and his faithful cohorts have shown us the way. It is up to us to respond to the limit of our capacity. Each of us must calculate the most we can give and then add something more for good measure. As we have within us the spirit of Princeton, let us hear her voice and serve her. Thank you. Thank you so very much, sir, for exactly the right note at the most important hour of all. I think we can all agree that it was very important that there was a Princeton to produce the class of 1949. Let us make sure there is a Princeton to produce the class of 20 odd nine. The seeds of this effort have been planted some years ago, as you all know, since the trustees authorized pursuit daily of this task on October 17, 1958. No man has worked harder than the president of the university, the unquestioned leader, the undisputed leader of the $53 million campaign for Princeton is Robert Francis Goheen, scholar, 
gentleman, soldier, athlete, and the president of Princeton University. Speaking about leadership, I think we probably all owe a special vote of thanks to Jim Oates and his fellow planners and workers of the National Executive Committee for this campaign. And we can certainly take confidence in their ability. I doubt that any other national committee could have produced weather like this after a day like yesterday. <laughs> Those of you who have had a time to walk around the campus in recent weeks will certainly have noticed quite a number of physical changes. For the truth is, of course, that the importance of Princeton lies in the teaching and searching, the learning and growing that go on here. President Goheen stressed the unseen benefits which will accrue to Princeton from the campaign. A very large amount of work remains to be done. Far the most difficult stretch of this capital campaign lies ahead. The aspirations of Princetonians for Princeton, which I perceive, are no less than my own. That she should be an ever vigor vigorous and vitally contributing center of excellence in a world that needs the best from her. In this spirit, we shall meet the challenge, and Dei sub numine, we shall succeed. I thank you. We will not fail, sir, because we know that failure is unthinkable. I am proud and happy to report that as a result of our combined efforts as of 11 o'clock this morning, our total in gifts, written pledges, and firm oral commitments totaled When the meeting adjourned, we went to lunch, all of us, campaign volunteers from a dozen states. Just before the game started, there was an announcement. We have just had the kickoff meeting to launch the total solicitation phase of the campaign $53 million for Princeton. The man who is the quarterback for this mighty Princeton effort is standing by my side. He is James F. Oates of the class of 1921. It seemed to his fellow trustees that on the occasion of this symbolic national kickoff, we could do no less than to provide him with a symbolic uniform for a quarterback. Jim, here is a present for you. The number may not be right for the quarterback, but it is certainly right for the chairman of the $53 million campaign. Thank you, Harold, and thank all of you. This, of course, will be treasured by me as long as I live. Let me say to all Princeton men here and throughout the nation, we are going to achieve our goal. 
hundreds of you in the stands today and hundreds and hundreds of others of you not here today will make that prophecy come true. Now, let's win the game. <laughs> yep. And so they did, resoundingly. The team scored only 49 points, which still leaves Jim Oates the chance to be the most successful Princeton quarterback of the season.